We're continuing to look now at the Corinthian church and specifically 1 Corinthians 11. We're talking about a Greek church in a Roman world with Christian people who came out of Judaism. They had questions about their customs, culture. Which one does God want us to do? Last session we looked at men. Today let's look at the ladies. Paul talks about women with their veils. It was a Greek social custom to use a veil to set apart a married woman. It was given to her as part of the wedding ceremony. Now what do we have today that is equivalent to that? Our wedding ring, right? It's given to us as part of the ceremony and when I wear this wedding ring, it sets me apart as being a married woman. Now this has nothing to do with uh, religion or faith, but this has to do with culture. Now, these Christian women in this Roman world were saying, I'm free, and they were taking off their veils, and their husbands were saying, say what? <laughs> You're free? You're taking off your veil? That would be the equivalent of me if you saw me and my husband talking and I took off my wedding ring and I put it down on a table and walked away, if I did that, I would be showing disrespect to my husband. Now, for our basis, for all of our teaching on these New Testament passages, we looked at Ephesians at two specific words, submit and respect. Christian wives should not do anything that would publicly disrespect the, well, actually, I'm not supposed to privately disrespect my husband either, but I will not do anything to publicly disrespect him. And Paul says, not all the churches have customs like this. This is a local Greek custom. But in all cultures, one principle stands. Wives, respect your husbands. So we could go into a lot more detail on this chapter, but suffice it to say, Paul is saying, men or women, don't give as much as possible. Don't give offense to people. Don't go around offending people. Love them and win them to Jesus. <music>